Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. Today I've got this Cernet Translucent in the Lime Green. <clears throat> this is the only clay we're going to use today. though so hard to cut it's really fresh clay okay now I'm gonna roll both of these out just on my thickest setting on my pasta machine and I'll be back okay I've got this nearly the same color mica powder that I'm going to add just a little bit of gold to. And put it on one of these. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this one over and uh, I'm going to paint them both with this is the gold uh, glamorous gold from deco art dazzling metallics now <clears throat> when you use metallic paint metallic paint is stretchier than regular opaque acrylic paint let me see if I can clarify that a little bit stretchier in it will stretch further instead of break kind of how you can get the same effect the same uh, metal leaf effect with that crackle effect. You can get that same effect with polymer clay um, when you're just using an opaque solid color acrylic paint. It does not work as well <laughs> with metallic paint simply because it's stretchier. It wants to stretch instead of crackle. A line of acrylic paint. Now, the whole point of telling you about the stretchiness, how we covered the last one, the red marble, how we covered that pretty thickly with acrylic paint. We're going to do the opposite with this one. And... I'm about to get it open. All right. Now, what I mean by putting it on thinner, I'm not going to worry that you can see through a lot of it. 
Okay, this one's going to be a little heavier because i got more paint on there. Oh, well. I'm just going to let this dry. Now, for this, um, the metallics do take longer to dry. So, for this particular one, it's probably going to take 30 minutes. So, I'll be back then. Sorry, just, just... This is just a gold glitter that I've had. I don't have. I don't know how long I've had it. Forever. Very difficult to decide how to do this. Okay, now I'm going to let it dry. Just any gold, any glitter, whatever. What, you don't have to do this with the peridot. You know that, right? This would work just as well with any other color. I'm sorry, the lime green. We're going to make it look like peridot, maybe. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. <laughs> For 30 minutes and then I'll be back. I'm gonna shake some of that glitter around. <laughs> so it's not so heavy in some, some spots. Like on my desk. I'll be back. Okay, now let's chop this up and put it in a bag. Now I'm going to try this and see if it's less messy. <laughs> As if. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid clay on the back of this before I put it in the bag. Now comes the messy part. Mm, that's not going to come off easy because it's just starting it. <clears throat> this one has the mica on the back though. So, I'm going to get this off here and put into the bag and then I'll be back. Okay, this is the Indigo Blue Mega Flakes and this is the chocolate box color. As you can see, it is a variegated metal leaf, even though it's called a flake. I don't understand why people do that, but it is a metallic leaf. <clears throat> so, you know, if I talk, I'm going to blow it, right? <laughs> probably just use my fingers here because unlike the gold leaf I've been using this is not all clumped up oh mostly it's not oh, but I want that <laughs> just a little more of this copper some of that deep dark color there and some of the gold not the best way 
necessarily to do this, adding the gold leaf, but, I mean, the metallic leaf. The reason I just call it metallic leaf instead of gold leaf, because it, it's not gold. Gold leafing is something totally different. Same with silver leaf. I went ahead and let it set a few minutes just to kind of firm back up <clears throat> because it is really warm here today so well I say really warm but near 70 oh and it doesn't want to cut okay here's what we've got so far I'm going to run this under my pasta machine, starting out on the thickest setting, which is a 1, and I'm going to roll it down to a 3, and I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I had imagined, but they are gorgeous. Okay. Pick these out just because they're easy to remove. <laughs> As lime green as I imagined they would turn out and they're not nearly as translucent I would show you with my flashlight but I can't find it That really breaks my heart. I bought that flashlight 20 years ago at the auto parts store. <laughs> I bought three of them for myself, my husband, and my son. And I'm the only one that still has theirs. I was the only one that is still in the house somewhere. Alright. <laughs> so I may revisit this lime green and add a bit more translucent to it. I don't know. They really did turn out gorgeous. Um, for the modified marbling, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it is really nice. Okay, these are the other ones that are easy to remove. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Once again, I don't know how well y'all can see those. These are obviously always my favorite. I don't get it, but they are. Okay. And then these little ovals. Which maybe turned out the best. For the marbling technique. And then these are the beads. 
I only put one coat of the gloss sealer on them. Uh, just because I was in a rush this morning. And this Cernet, since we just used the straight Cernet, and I buy my polymer clay from Blueberry Beads, this Cernet was literally so soft. It was like Sculpey 3. Which I always say is like, um, I always say it's like soft serve ice cream. <laughs> when you try to put detail into it. That's what these were like. It really blew out the holes. Didn't maintain a round shape very well but still they are so pretty I would definitely put another coat of gloss sealer on them mm. okay here's what we got today these little circles Three quarter full circles. These little ovals. These little hexagons. Remember the findings are all from Timu. these little ovals which I still say have the best marbling technique in them mm. <laughs> I say that though they all turned out really that chocolate veining in there mm. all right I'll be quiet now I promise Thank y'all so much for watching. As I always say. These are. These are my favorite. Uh. To wear. I would definitely wear these. Plain. Simple. These are the prettiest aesthetically to me. But then again, these. Although it's a little more of a gold year. Gold. Uh, jewelry wise, sorry. It's not my best color on my skin. But you do you. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. For keep coming back and joining me on these um, color mixes. Now, I know we're doing earrings this year. I've done so many pendants in the past. Um, that's why I've... that. That's why I've switched over to earrings. I've done 400 plus videos just on polymer clay pendants if you can believe that i have probably over 600 videos now some mixed media some other stuff but mainly polymer clay
a few resin over the last year or so. But now we're into earrings. I'll throw a few pendants in there from time to time to break it up a little bit. But I hope you're not tired of earrings yet. I still have a few more of these certain color mixes to do. That being said, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I want to thank y'all so much for staying subscribed. You don't know how much it means to me, really and truly. I appreciate each and every one of you. That's why 20,000 plus subscribers and I still comment back. Not with just a heart, not with just a thank you, a thumbs up, but I comment back. It may just be a thank you. But I do thank you. So thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to say it again. Like everybody's video you watch. Including this one. Bye for now.